So simple, so quick, so inexpensive, you think you were back in college, but I bet you, you never made something this delicious back then. Chin chin. I'm Fabio Viviani, join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On Chin Chin to Italy. So what we're gonna do today is the absolute ultimate test of any Italian chef. Let me explain. In France, to know if you're worthwhile in the kitchen, you have to make an omelette. You already know how I feel about friends. They got great bulldogs. As far as pasta, as far as anything else, Italy always win. In Italy, the testament for a great chef is to know how to make cacio e pepe. It's a ton of butter, it's a ton of cheese, all melted together with lots of black pepper and pasta water. But if you don't do it right, it's gonna be oily, it's gonna be heavy, and it's gonna clump back together. So I will show you how to make the perfect cacio e pepe. That's how you open spaghetti in Italy. Now, should it come out of the first bang? Two bang kind of make me look kind of weak, but I don't know if we can edit this in post-production. If we can't, I'll own it. Not always success. First of all, when you have spaghetti, you have to fan the spaghetti. How do we fan spaghetti? You get your spaghetti and you fan them out. See what I'm doing here? I'm fanning them. So let me show you how we fan the pasta, all right? So fan the spaghetti and then we put them in the water as we fan them. Ready? See how I fan the pasta? Look. That, my friend, it's skills. And these is the kind of skills that pay the bills. So now, I'm not asking you to dip the pasta in your pot and touch the hot boiling water with your bare hand like I'm doing. I am a hybrid between a seasoned veteran chef with not sensitivity in his hand and an idiot. Full on idiot, because I always touch hot things with my hand and then instantly regret it. And now let's talk about cacio e pepe. Cacio cheese, pepe pepper, cheese and pepper. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a nice big bowl and we're gonna add the cheese. You're gonna add the cheese. How much cheese, you say? All of it is the only amount of cheese acceptable. But not all of it at once. You gotta leave enough cheese to top your pasta off. Cheese, pepper. How much pepper? A lot of pepper. Lots of pepper too. By the way guys, so you know, I love this and I'm gonna have a glass. This is some pink lemonade that you guys, Gustavo and Vita, did. This is absolutely delicious. In Italy, we have the things that we call limonata. It's like squeeze fresh lemon with a little bit of sugar and they bottle it. Delicious. Ready for this? Look at this. Mix the pepper and the cheese. Like this, all right? Then we get butter. It's important. One nice stick of butter in the pan. Then you get another piece of butter. I told you it's a lot of butter. All right, this is not the pasta you wanna eat before you have like a bikini contest. This is not it. This is the pasta that you eat when you're Italian, hungry, wanna be happy, love cheese, nothing wrong with pepper, and you're carbohydrates friendly, all right? I'm gonna cut the butter, and I'm gonna place some of the butter in the Parmesan, right there. And some people think that this is insanity. This is madness. This is Italy. All right? Let's check this here. Pasta is kind of bending, which is good. So now the first things we're gonna do as we cook the pasta, we're gonna add some of the pasta water in here. And we're gonna let that mix like that with the cheese 
and the butter. Now the butter here is melted, absolutely gorgeous. You know there is somebody out there that once said that, that to try if pasta is cooked in Italy, you have to throw these on the ceiling and steep sticks, right? Like throwing pasta in the wall. And if the pasta sticks, it's ready. No. You throw pasta on the wall in an Italian household, and once you wake up from being passed out, because they're gonna slap you so many times that you're gonna just faint, you're not gonna have any pasta because everybody ate and they left you over there on the floor. That's because you don't do that. So now we got the pan. It's pretty hot though. It's like Italian spa. You wanna get a facial, you want your skin all moisturized? Make some pasta. Then we throw the pasta in the sauce over there, right? And we start to mix and mix and mix. And we get it here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Fire underneath. We're gonna let this reduce for a minute as we stir it. Be more pepper. The goal is to let the water reduce and the cheese stick to the pasta. Usually this maneuver is done in Italy by a server at the table on a plate. Now we don't have server here, we don't have a table, but we have meat, which is all you really need to learn how to make a great cacio e pepe. You cook it right here for a few minutes. The starch from the pasta will get nice and uh, thick. The sauce will thicken up, the cheese will start to melt, the butter, the pasta water comes together, the pepper. If anybody else tells you any other way to make cashew pepper, I don't care if it's the pasta king, they're lying to you. We're almost there, people! Fire off. Do you see the creaminess? There is nothing else to add to this dish. Absolute perfection. Fabio nailed it one more time, like expected. Undisputed king. Look at this. Like, I understand you all gotta take a picture of this. I get it, it's a show. But this is gotta be eaten right now. I cannot wait 10 minutes because you guys gotta do production things. Mm. I'm really good at this. Like, legit. first of all, look at this world. Look at the wrist game I just put on this. Look at that. World class, most famous dish. Delicious, simple. Chin chin. <laughs>